Hey guys, welcome to the video where I'm going to show you how to grow a portfolio even if you just have $1,000 trading options super easily, consistently, and safely. Now, obviously, my account is more than $1,000. However, I just started with $2,000 myself. And in today's video, you're going to learn how to buy call options, sell call options, how to do spreads, how to manage your spreads, and how to grow your portfolio safely. If you guys wanna get all my trades, see my live coaching sessions where I trade and actually buy, sell, do technical analysis and fundamental analysis, and just get me as a coach for the rest of your life, then make sure to click that first link in the description. So let's get started with buying call options. Although I don't personally love call options. Now listen to me, I know you might be thinking to yourself, Call options can make lots of money, and that's how you multiply your wealth easily and very fast. But at the same time, whatever is fast and easy is also risky. So with buying call options, you can also lose some money. Let me show you how I would buy call options and how you would go about this. So check it out. If you go to trade Apple options, okay, for example, let's say you don't have enough money to buy the stock because if you were to buy 100 shares, that would be about $17,200. And I know not everyone has that just laying around, especially if you're trying to learn how to trade options from the beginning, you only have $1,000. How would you go about buying some expensive stocks? You really can't, okay? And obviously, Apple, Tesla, Microsoft, Google, some of these companies are really good, but they are expensive. So here's what I would do, okay? If you're watching this, in the future, it's okay. You can always pick an expiration date that is 30 days out, okay? When I buy call options, I wanna give it some time. You don't wanna give it too much time because then that is going to be pretty expensive. So here, check this out. If I think Apple is going to go up in the next 30 days, I would pick an option that is close to the money. So let me explain. Close to the money means that it's close to the current stock price. The current stock price for Apple is $172.50. Now, because this current price is very close to 175, that makes 175 a pretty good call option because it's not super expensive. It's currently $450. As you can see right here, it's 4.5. And this actually allows you to control 100 shares. So that's what's really awesome about options. And that's what people love about buying options. Because when you buy an option, you get control of basically 100 shares. And like I said, buying 100 shares is really expensive. But buying a call option is not that expensive. So here's the thing. You do need the stock to go up. As you can see here, you start off in the red, okay? So for it to go up, the stock has to rise and then you only break even at $179.50. So think about it this way. A call option is a bet for a stock to go up in value, okay? When the stock goes up in value, your call option increases in value. But the really interesting thing is that a call option lets you put up very little it can also go up many times more than the stock can. So for instance, let's say that Apple went to $200 per share, okay? If it went to 200, a stock investor made the difference from 200 minus 172. That is about $28. $28 divided by 172. Well, you can see the return on screen right now. Not so bad, but check this out. If this call option, the stock goes to 200, then this call option is going to be worth $25. So $25 is what it's worth, and you only paid 450. So as you can see on the screen, the return is astronomically higher and very different because of the leverage factor with a call option. A call option gives you the advantage of putting up so little and making so much, however, a call option has an expiration date. So the thing is, you need this to happen fairly quickly. Now, when I was working on Wall Street, this is what all the traders were really concerned about. Even if they could be right about direction, you also have to be right about the time that that actually takes place, okay? So with call options, you have to stay cognizant and be aware of the expiration date. You have to also pick a decent strike. Now, in terms of picking a decent strike, you don't have to actually pick 175. This was just an example. You can also pick something like 180. So in this scenario though, you can see that this is what a call option looks like. And this actually requires more movement because you know the 180, now it has a break even of 182.30. And that's because you have to factor in the strike plus what you pay for the option. So if you think Apple will go higher than 180, you need it to actually go up to 182.30. 0.26, right? Whatever the current price of this option is, which is always changing. That's the thing about options. 
you can buy them and you can sell them. You actually don't have to wait until expiration. So even if this option here expires in 30 days, you don't have to wait 30 days. You can buy an option for $2.50 and the next day, if it's worth $3.50, you can cut it. You can take profits. So you would basically make a dollar in a day. And by the way, when I say a dollar, each option is worth 100 shares. So that means $100. And that's how some people can make $100 a day by buying call options. Now, for me, I really love to buy call options for events. No, think about an event like economic meeting, or maybe a stock has some earnings, or maybe this there's some news coming up, okay? For example, Tesla. Oftentimes when it has earnings or Elon Musk makes a tweet, Tesla stock is affected. It can go up a lot, it can go down. And that's where options are really beneficial because rather than owning the stock, which is really expensive, and it goes up and down a lot, which is very volatile, an option still goes up and down a lot, but you don't really have to put up that much. So this is a very interesting strategy, especially for beginners. I think many beginners, if you're trying to trade $1,000, then buying call options is actually a viable strategy to get your feet wet and learn about option trading. Now, in terms of selling calls, okay? You can't just sell a call because if you just sell a call, I'll show you what it looks like, okay? If I go to sell call and I sell a 185 call, you will see that the max loss is unlimited. Now think about it this way. You sell a call option. That means, you know, in the first example, when you buy a call option, you get the rights to buy a stock at the price that you decide, right? So if you pick a 175 call option and it goes up, well, then you get to buy the stock at 175, even if the stock's at 200 or 250. As the stock goes higher, you have the right to buy the stock at just 175. However, if you reverse this and you sell a call option, this is kind of dangerous because in theory, the stock can keep going up and because you don't have any shares of the stock, you just have a call option that you sold, you can lose a lot of money, which is why I don't recommend just selling call options. Instead, I recommend selling covered call options. A covered call is when you have 100 shares of anything. You have 100 shares of a stock and then you sell call options to make you income, to generate income on top of the stocks that you own. By the way, 51% of you guys are not subscribed yet. So if you wanna stay up to date with all my option trading strategies and videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification as well. So for example, let's say that you have a stock at $100, okay? Now, what you do is you sell a call option at 110 strike. What happens here is that you will be forced to sell the stock at $110. However, you actually get paid, let's say $2 for opening up this option when you sell it. So when you sell this option, you're saying, I will sell this stock at $110. Now, if it goes to 110 or above, then you do lose this stock. However, A, you bought it for 100. So if you lose it at 110, that's good. And B, even if you lose it at 110, you still get to keep the $2 that was paid to you. So in this scenario, you take $100 and you sell it for 110 plus two, so $112. Let's say that you did that in two months. Well, in two months, you've basically made 12%. And that is the power of the covered call strategy. Now, another power of the covered call strategy, which is one of my favorite strategies, even for beginners, you would just pick a stock that is a bit cheaper. What you would do is if the stock actually goes down, well, all the stockholders are suffering and they're losing money. So say that you buy a stock for 100 and it goes down to 98. Well, everyone lost $2. But in our example, the 110 strike price, when we sold that call option for $2, we got paid $2 regardless of what happens. That answers your account immediately and it's already available in cash. So if the stock goes from 100 down to 98, you actually lost no money because you've collected $2. And that's why this covered call strategy is basically giving you a margin of safety. This is something that Warren Buffett talks about, but basically Warren Buffett is always looking at stocks and trying to buy them for the perfect price. But me and you, we don't have all that software and data. And we also mostly don't know what's going to happen in the market. It's pretty random. In fact, the market is extremely random and almost nobody can predict it. I believe anyone that says they can predict it, it's just straight up lying. However, if you're doing covered calls, when I was working at Goldman Sachs, the research showed that selling covered calls collected income and premium and actually outperformed the market. So it's really important to understand option trading. And the next strategy that we want to talk about is going to be buying put options, okay? So buying a put option gives you the right to sell the stock 
to someone else, okay? Because you think it'll go down. So check this out. If I buy a put option, and I think that Apple is going to go lower than 170, and I hit continue here, okay? You will see that I'm actually making money if the stock goes lower, okay? If it goes below about 165.55, that's when I start making money. So buying a put option gives you the right to get rid of your stock and throw it to someone else, even for a lower price. So if I do the 170, okay, and the stock goes down a lot, let's say that it goes down to like 150, I still get to get rid of the stock for 170. That's the beautiful part about buying put options. You get to put the stock to someone else or you can actually sell the option for a profit. So say that you buy it for 445, let's say that the stock goes down, what's going to happen is this option is going to become more valuable because as the stock goes down, the option increases in price and that's how you make money by buying put options. As the stock goes down, your option can increase from let's say 450 to 750, okay? And if it goes to 750, you may personally decide that I wanna cut this position and I wanna take a gain and that is completely okay. This video is part of a series of option trading with $1,000 for beginners. If the next video is out in the series, you'll see it popped up right here on the screen right now.